Hi guys, welcome to part 14 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Movement. I seriously lack movement. I know, I have the disco ball that simulates movement reflecting uh, the light from the green and blue LEDs. Then I will also have the propeller from team at section number two that obviously has disappeared that will simulate three dancers getting around and then nothing else nothing more but a christmas village without a movement it's not a christmas village movement brings life to a christmas village and also attract the view from the viewers okay uh, it is time to add more movement to my Christmas village, but I will not use the Lemax uh, Iset Pond with the skaters, um, the um, windmill, no, my train, uh, no, the carolers, no. So what will I do to add movement? I will add two little section uh, that have movement. The first one will be for this part 14, the second one will be for part 15, okay? And I will place them on the left side and on the right side. And they are entirely new, entirely uh, strange in some ways, but I think it is a good, they are, sorry, a good solution for simulating movement, I hope. Then I will show you not one, but two new houses, one from the right side and one from the left side. This is because I am a little behind the schedule, so two instead of one. And I will also reveal the other two houses I um, did for the right side of the layout that will not be present because I don't have more space to waste because I still need also to add one new item from the 2024 Lemax collection and I'm in real trouble because there isn't nothing or there isn't much Oh, that attracts me from the new 2024 Lemax collection. Let's hope to find something. And by the way, uh, between this part 14 and part 15, there will be my video concerning my usual, my annual field trip to the uh, Christmas department store. That's why I need space because I hope to find something from the new Lemax collection to fit there. I don't want uh, to renounce to my tradition of adding a new Lemax building uh, for, for each season. But uh, let's go, let's have an introduction to some movement. Movement I said, and movement will be. When I started thinking about the problem of not having movement in my 2024 Christmas village, I think it was Tuesday, Tuesday night, or yes, Tuesday night. And strangely, oddly, but a couple of solutions came like that with a pop, a couple of ideas that I transformed in a couple of solutions. And uh, not like two weeks ago, but maybe it was uh, just part of 13 that was really cursed. Uh, you will see the first solution now, not entirely done at 90%, and the second one in part 15. Both solutions are achievable and doable. The first one, maybe it is a little more complicated. 
but if you want you can do it you can you, you will understand in some minutes uh, the second one is more easily done and uh, the first one will have movement the and light one maybe two leds but i'm not certain but no sounds both of them will have no sounds at least for now but i think they will remain like that uh, and i will show you everything step by step the first one is for me at least for me the pure essence of movement let me try to explain we live on earth the once again and we don't have the impression that we are moving but everybody knows that the earth turns around the sun because we are in 2024 and not in middle ages or before so the earth is in a solar system okay it is heliocentric our solar system is heliocentric helios is the name of the sun okay so you may have understood that i am about to talk about planetary movements okay planetary movements so the sun planets turning around the sun and moons and small planets turning around other planets <sighs> planetary mechanism planetary simulation okay astronomical mechanics <laughs> very difficult term don't worry it will be simple let me start by showing you something you all know so the main planets of our solar system maybe i will get a little closer like that the sun mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune okay one two three four five six seven eight nine i don't count the sun so the eight main planets uh, I'm not I will not talk about the classification of some planets but Jupiter's have moons the earth have moons okay and this is not in scale guys so every single one of those planets turn around the sun the closer to the sun Notice the temperature, okay. Uh, and Earth is not the biggest planet in the solar system, it is Jupiter, but the big one, everybody knows that. And Saturn also does not have the same movement as the other planets because it is a complex movement, not simply turning around the sun and by the way the the orbits are not circular they are elliptics okay but let's forget about this this design here is not in scale the distances between the planets is absolutely wrong considering always the sun as the center of the movement in reality it is like that uh, 
AU, astronomical unit, is the distance one astronomical unit, it is a unit of measure that it is stated like that, and it is considered the distance uh, of the Earth from the Sun. Okay. Uh, 0 0.4 for Mercury, 0 0.7 for, for Venus, 1 for Earth, etc. What does this mean? It means that if we convert everything in centimeters, okay? For example, if we place here the sun, okay, we have at one centimeter um, let's multiply them by 10, it is better. At 10 centimeters we have the earth but before the earth at 4 centimeters here we have mercury there this is m mercury and at 7 centimeters here we have a venus then it is earth third planet after the sun or like a sitcom from the 80s and 90s said, third rock after the sun. Uh, let's forget about that. Then at 10.5 centimeters is Mars. Sorry, guys. It is not a 15 centimeters. So 4 centimeters, 7 centimeters, 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters. Uh, I made it wrong and so this is not Mars. This is Mars. 15 centimeters. Okay. Then Jupiter will be at 52 centimeters so way over then saturn at 96 centimeters uranus at 1 meter and 92 centimeters almost 2 meters this is 50 centimeters so if the sun is here uh, Jupiter is there, guys. Okay, so Jupiter will be way, way, way over that dimension. And the last one is the coldest planet of all. It will be at 3 meters from this point here. 300 centimeters will be Neptune. Okay. Uh, 4, 7, 10, 15. If you want to represent the solar system really in scale, <laughs> you need to make a simulation, you need to make a model a mechanical model that is more than three meters wide impossible guys uh, impossible because I don't have the space or the the meaning of doing that so this is just a representation but it is absolutely not in scale okay guys in reality it is like that so here it is almost like the planets are 
equidistant from each other and from the sun. No, it's not like that. So, a really planetary system representing, representing the, our solar system will take years to do for me. That's why I want to simulate uh, mechanical, astronomical, mechanical movements, so planetary movements. But I cannot use the eight planets of our solar system. So I imagine it another solar system, or as this is uh, Ucronia, my Christmas business, Christmas village, sorry, is an Ucronia. I imagine that at some point uh, someone uh, misinterpreted the system, our solar system. That's why you will see some planets in movement, but not really like our solar system. Okay, enough with the explanation. Enough with the explanation. Let's get serious. The mini section will have these dimensions, guys. It is 19 centimeters by 19 centimeters squared. Okay. I haven't cleaned everything, but I'm not here for cleaning right now. I'm here to show you what I have. Those gears that you see here uh, are not moving and are simply there as uh, part of the scene to attract the eye. But I needed to start from somewhere. So. I made this little thing there that is composed by two elements that is the first cog okay because if you want to simulate uh, me uh, planetary mechanics planetary movements you need to use some cogs and this one bluff gets there and turn around. If you are wondering why I have a hole there, that's because here I will add a motor, not now. And here I will have the space, the hole for LEDs. But let's continue. This little handle here that will be replaced underneath it by a motor, need to move another cog. And here I have cog B. Okay, let me clean it a little. If I place this cog here, guys, look, it's not magic. It's uh, engineering, yes, it is mechanic, yes, it is math, yes, especially how to design some cogs. And those cogs here are oriented. They are not vertical, okay? The two cogs the, mm, seen from the side, the first one is like that but the second one is more like that, okay? Okay, this to avoid the friction between the cogs. So, the first one, you really cool, two cogs turning around. And this is a multiplier. So, when two cogs turns, uh, you have the small one turning quicker than the bigger one. 
is normal. Then I marked these as cog, cog sorry, number, oh sorry, letter C. Still need to clean this one too. And the C will go there. Okay. And C will go there and they turn. Okay. But uh, okay, good like that. Yes, I will remove the handle for now, but the cog stands to get away. So I also modeled a cover because cogs I cannot screw them, I cannot glue them, otherwise they will not turn. So I, I needed something to maintain them in position and uh, uh, allowing me to turn them around. I will clean these on a second moment and this I will fix it it can be glued there once I've uh, tested that everything is working and I've also made a cover for this one like that and they will prevent everything for from uh, Sl uh, uh, sliding away for okay now good but <laughs> you have simply some horizontal mechanism right now the real thing is cog number D or letter D that will go there Okay guys, and when you have cogs, if this one goes clockwise, this one goes counterclockwise, this one clockwise, this one counterclockwise. So clock, uh, count, um, clockwise, and this one is getting counterclockwise, this one clockwise, and this one counterclockwise. And you can see that now the system is uh, more stable once every and single of the cogs are together. Now <laughs> it is a little too flat. So I added this one there, but it's maybe something, maybe not. But if I add this one that is that will contain this one and has also a cog inside like this and if I place it like this so okay it is a little too uh, dancer, dancing, okay? Because it's not completed. Let's have another, because if these are three cogs, it is understandable that I will use one movement, two movement, three movements, okay? Like this, so this is the first movement. This will be the second movement and the biggest one will be the third movement. like that and now 
everything turns. Now guys, let's get serious. You have seen that, maybe not, that those parts have some indentation there, okay? This one, the last one too, has some indentation, etc. They are meant to be like that. Now, if you are a fan of Star Trek, you may consider these as a Klingon fighter spaceship. I imagine it having the same shape as an attack ship from Klingons. But if you don't know Star Trek and the saga of Star Trek and the world of Star Trek, Consider this as a strange form, okay, that I will clean in a second moment. And I will place this, let's say, in the first indentation, like that. Let's try once again obviously I need to provide some lubrication to everything okay then this one is big and it is another part that will allow me to show you planetary movements. Obviously they each have an arm and this one need to go in there. And last one will be will be this one here that obviously will go into the last one. Okay, now let's add some planets, okay, let's add some planets. Uh, so I will have another one here and let's hope it will fit inside. And finally, the sun in the middle. Okay, guys, it works. You have seen that the sun, that is transparent, obviously, because I will add um, an LED inside is fixed then the two planets there rotate around in a certain way this planet too turns and it turns around the sun and then also the three system there the, this trio system there turns around and the two planets or two moons rotate around this planet here. I need to fix everything and then add a motor 
uh, because otherwise it sleep. Now, houses. For the right side, guys, the new house and the last house will be this one, guys. And it is a red house, red and yellowish house, guys. And uh, it is pure bricks. Okay, so gray. Let me approach the camera. This is the front with the main entry there. Okay, the main entry, uh, windows, bow window there for the first level, second level, and then also part of the roof of the uh, third level. The entry has an elegant porch there with columns, okay, with columns that are white. Uh, the main entrance door is uh, wood, etc. Then also from the back side there is a secondary entrance, a back door there with a little stair to get access to it. The plug. For the LEDs, I have one LED here, one there, and the third one under the roof. From the side, uh, six windows from each side, okay? Then three, five windows there. Uh, the roof is similar to the other ones, and it is black and iridescent silver, so metallic roof. Uh, they didn't realize in Victorian era that a roof like the, uh, this one is uh, hell hot in plain summer and uh, polar freezing during <laughs> the winter because metal, the metallic roof conduct um, heat much more than uh, wood. Then some freezes there. Okay, and the bricks here red and here gray for the rest. It is the smallest one uh, as a plant, it is only 15 centimeters, if I remember correctly. Yes, 14.5 centimeters because uh, the, I, I take the, the roof, so 14.5 centimeters as a squared, uh, the, um, it is like having a squared base then adding this little bow window up up to towards the, the roof. Uh, so simple geometry, squared then uh, half of an hexagon, okay, half of an one, two, three, four, five of uh, three, six uh, of an octagon, sorry, and half of an octagon there uh, as a bow window. Then some one, two, three, four windows also on the roof, two chimneys, okay, and uh, it is classical, it is uh, similar to the other. Um, to the other houses for the right side, similar um, design, similar architecture, okay? And uh, this will be the last one that I modeled to be added to the right uh, section. So plastic here, 3D printed, but there, all the um, floors, because I have one floor here, second floor there and third floor here inside are made from uh, styrofoam okay uh, some little design there okay and also everything else this is standard but it is the fourth building having similar and geometry similar architecture and I don't think it is too bad, guys. So I, you will see it during the uh, final recap. 
and uh, this one is <laughs> just finished painting because I uh, I haven't I didn't have intention to add this right now but instead I wanted to add this manual here guys but it is too big and I will not have space also this is Victorian it is the darkest building I've modeled it is somehow yes uh, Victorian but uh, I wanted something that could also remind me some sort of Harry Potter okay and so <laughs> a big uh, pointy roof there the base is also this one uh, bricks and uh, small bricks here a big uh, long porch on the secondary entrance because this is the main entrance with two doors on L-shaped one and two but another porch here um, from the front side it was meant to be like that so uh, double entry or like that but my first intention was to use it like that with angular with a corner like entry and uh, it is uh, um, maroonish brown and yellowish the main colors here I made the windows a little more um, important, a little more refined with some design on, on them. This is supposed to be an elegant home, but right now I don't think I will have the space for this kind of uh, design. This is compared to the other design more traditional design towards not towards Victorian but a little before Victorian but mansions like that were used to be okay um, present and common in Victorian uh, villages in Victorian uh, cities or um, like that um, so these unfortunately will not see the light and will not see uh, and you will not see it on my Christmas village but it is a pity I will keep it for some other Christmas village but who knows maybe I will change my mind up to you to judge then I also modeled but I uh, I still needed to assemble this other house here that is very short compared to the other ones okay maybe I can show you the inside as this has not been assembled so it is like that I always do the uh, floors with the styrofoam then paint them brown then uh, 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 what else can I say? Um, uh, I also have here the same floor for the second. Inside you have the LEDs, okay, the LEDs for bringing light. So this one will bring light to the first floor. Then here just two LEDs because uh, it will go like that and then the roof will be like that and the roof has the second LED that with the wires coming out from here and uh, sorry and this one will close everything another mini bow window there on the front side another porch there and a back entrance with a large porch there okay and this was supposed to be another house so i made plenty of houses for the right side but this one too and look at how similar are the roof this one and this one okay so 
I took this uh, roof here, reduced it in dimension, then add the uh, bow window. This is a square it, and oops, and the bow window is only minimal in the first floor. So this is a short house. Okay. Then the last one I wanted is once again a giant mansion, guys. It is this kind of mansion here. It is gigantic, guys, and I can show you the front. And this was interesting to model because, oops, I, uh, I took out the stairs because the main floor there, the main entry, has from each side uh, a porch, okay? So um, from three sides there, one, two, and three. So you can walk around even when it's raining and it has, uh, you are uh, covered. Then instead of having a rounded bow window, and this is still to be glued, so very difficult to manage. Uh, there is a central, like um, a central tower, like that, with roof. And this, once again, is similar to this roof here, but redefined with some smaller uh, windows and the smaller chimneys. And the back there has uh, some sort of uh, mini, um, mini room there to get access. Uh, maybe, no, I don't know, the laundry, the laundry. Okay, you can call it laundry with some stairs to get access here. I just removed the stairs, but even this one from the front has other stairs. And the biggest one, this one was not the tallest one because the two blue uh, mansions are gigantic. And uh, I'm still missing also some sort of end rails there. Even if you have uh, no doors at this level, but only windows, uh, why not adding some uh, hand rails or some balusters there? But you, I don't have, uh, I just have windows. So maybe these can also be like that. But uh, children, they get out from the windows and uh, get in trouble. Um, walking on the roof uh, here too, so maybe a mini, a mini and rail, and also all along here. But this is the last one I modeled. Time. Uh, the first one is the green one I modeled first, then the two blue, then the brown you have just seen. Uh, then those, the short one, the, the red one, and this one was the last one I modeled. Uh, this will take at least five to six hours to complete, but even for this one, I don't think I will have the space, and it is a pity, guys, because it is. Uh, a beautiful house, uh, really house like that, really existed. Maybe not uh, on on the mainland. Maybe this is more colonial design, but Victorian colonial design. So um, maybe some tropical uh, island. Okay, not like this one that is a pure. Um, pure mainland, okay. 
some uh, I don't know uh, Christmas Carol village etc this is more um, more um, uh, colonial design uh, with the porches protecting from the sun and the heat allowing some shadows in plain heat and then when it is uh, maybe a tropical tornado or something like that it, it will protect also from the constant raining okay and um, that's all for the houses for the uh, la right side so on the layout you have the two blue one and the green one it is three i will add the four one that the fourth one that is the red and in total there were seven houses i modeled seven houses for the right side maybe the same amount for the left side but i will try to add all the houses i modeled the for the uh, left side okay so the last one the red one now new house for the left side new blue roofed house and the new house is this one guys so from the top you can already imagine that you have a mini tower there then two protrusion there means having some windows coming out and the central chimney is there in plain middle so guys this is the main entrance for me once again not a standard entrance uh, I mean not an entrance that is at 90 degrees and or parallel with uh, some uh, walls like in this case but it is at 45 degrees so this is the main entrance this is an elegant house this is an important house uh, it can remember Rebecca's house but in fact is Rebecca's house that remember this one because this one is at least five months before I released this five between five and six months before Rebecca's house but it is somehow similar sorry Rebecca you don't have the exclusive but this is the version I wanted for this important house. This is maybe the. It is too short to be the mayor house, but it is an elegant house. Okay, so let's continue the uh, the turn. Lantern here is a real lantern as always, and then another lantern here from the. Um, this is considered the back side because you have the plug here then dessert lantern there so i modeled this to have from the main entrance and the long and the short one here but it is beautiful like that because <laughs> i try to model something strange with the roof cut there and uh, you can see that it is not symmetrical the roof cut there because if i um, and not if I hadn't cut the roof, this window here would have been a blind, but I didn't want that, so it is a strange roof, but it is like that. So, as always, gothic arc here and standard windows there with no plastic, with no windows except here on the elegant part, and you can see that. Uh, the plastic is ref reflecting the light so here the most important windows of um, the simulated uh, glass behind them main entrance gold even here some design some freezes 
here a small uh, ball gold uh, some other gold these are two benches not one bench but two benches there and then support there for the roof so the roof uh, is intended to protect even the windows from the from the the, the rain and then here protruding from these it is some sort of two square at the bow window but it is a prolongation of the room the roof is uh, as uh, uh, the other houses so the same design here with the uh, gold pointy uh, things uh, balusters there one chimney i already said and this is important so it has even a taller and this is one two three four five hexagon here the mini tower and it is on two levels so the house has one level two level three level under the roof okay and plenty of room inside it is a square if you want to see from the down it is some strange design there the base took 20 hours to 3d print and it is always a mess because I also blackwashed it, so here it is uh, the result of the blackwash. So the walls are, uh, in this case, as always, stone, uh, stone bricks, and then wood for the rest of the houses. So blackwash for the stones, then three layers of grey, then always the uh, bluish and yellowish. Um, pattern and there rounded window so this is a complete house that has everything and it is an important house at least for me on double roof here and here too the roof is obviously if it is from this side from this side too it is cutted support here but I had a double support <laughs> one and two and then three there and for the wood two layers so two shades of brown more maroonish and then sorry uh, yes more maroonish and then pure brown and uh, blue tiles etc and this is another house for the left side of the layout Final recap of part 14 of the 2024 season. The new house, guys, the new blue roofed house is there, guys. Okay, and you have seen it completely from every angle. Okay, but maybe right now you get a different look from this point of view here. And from the distance, guys, the village from this size obviously I also need to place some background on the left this season but this is taking some uh, some new point of view plenty of blue roofed houses and the next one will be there guys but and uh, obviously I can't leave these long side here naked like this so I'm starting to prepare something for that as an entry of it but it will be the last thing I will add and from this side too guys uh, already with the tree in the background there it's something different then obviously I will add also another tree for this house here and I will continue. Maybe you have noticed that I've blackwashed plenty of things. The stairs there is uh, blackwashed. You have already seen in part 13 the gazebo painted. Uh, blue like that. And then guys here, uh, uh, when I'm talking about details, I've added some uh, grass 
under uh, on the slope sorry not under but on the slope there simulating some sort of hill etc and uh, last season i've used these um, these uh, grass here that you can see is not that tall but instead this season i've used these okay compared you can see that it is much more taller and i and it moves really well compared to this one that was the movement were imperceptible almost non-visible but instead with this one you can get a good movement of the grass you see that it moves uh, so it allow me also to add some other thing it is taller it is darker as uh, uh, if uh, we were in some uh, very fertile uh, valley and it is better than this one for me for adding some flowers some plants here so i simulated uh, a slope uh, like this some sort of uh, hill like I just said and uh, uh, the rock here obviously the pins there will need to disappear but it's simply a matter of painting some green on top of the head of the pins but uh, it improves the view of this side here I will also add something more there uh, everything is black washed these stairs and the other stairs and the look guys I think uh, with the next house that is a tall very tall house this will get more life and then it's a matter of adding lives in plain middle of this section and the next part will be part 15 so four more parts before the end a little month yes by first uh, 15 days of november it should be done i hope so uh, here nothing has changed guys but take a look to the stairs that i've painted guys with similar alors <laughs> sorry no alors is french so um same pattern as these giant bridge here named snake bridge or dragon bridge yes dragon bridge because obviously it's like having a dragon there <laughs> okay then the the stairs so three layers of gray uh, i've added the more intense blue and a yellowish there so it is more uh, more blue and more yellow but three layers of gray first of all black wash obviously then three layers of gray from darker to lighter uh, then blue uh, yellow and then also some white here and there and also the final look of the stairs there um, the two uh, uh, standard there the blue and the red one were different so I used two different colors I use the blue uh, from the right side and red <laughs> there obviously but then I also had a final layer of iridescent blue and iridescent uh, uh, red so now it reflects the lights both reflects the lights okay then uh, some same pattern there I still miss some two on top two uh, street lamps or two some sort of something the two um, trees the two cypress uh, are painted two layers of green and then a layer of white also the container the pot is terracotta now okay is painted with terracotta but the black wash and the symbol there okay it is the same as the symbol uh, you have on the bridge that now is missing because uh, I'm still working on it but if you remember on the uh, small uh, uh, porch that you have on top of the bridge of the dragon bridge you have the same symbol to remember 
uh, with uh, the painting they melted together I think and I still miss a tree there on the on the right side there on the left on the right side from the point of view obviously etc uh, then the painting on top is the same guys okay but these stairs is now complete I will add some more thing <laughs> tremendous amount of time to paint everything because it is huge guys it is huge and I don't know maybe you hate it but this is the final stairs that I will add uh, there guys and uh, a little step a little more work than the last part believe me that is the both of them is four hours of work maybe I'm lying maybe it is more because of the details uh, tremendous time plus excluded the black wash because uh, everything I black washed took me three three hours yes but then uh, a day to um, to dry because otherwise black wash makes a mess all around and then and then painting is always so time consuming sorry if you want to get to achieve I can and I will always use my airbrush for the primer because it's not even a third of a time to paint everything but this kind of details it is impossible to obtain the shades impossible to obtain with the, um, with the airbrush so uh, I will always need to paint uh, with my normal brushes and uh, especially doing some um, dry brushing for the shades okay uh, here bye bye to the section I told you it would have disappeared I also worked on it so it now have some giant part on it and then here nothing has changed guys uh, no I think not here guys black wash the, the stair there and all the stairs here are black washed and ready to be to be uh, painted correctly uh, only time where I use the uh, my airbrush uh, is on the top of the uh, of the of the plaza there but it is intended to be like that otherwise the effect wouldn't have been that but it is not shaded guys it is absolutely not shaded different type of colors but you you have nowhere there some shaded effect as a black wash and then a dry brush it is a different kind of uh, of a painting nothing has changed there but here guys yes I've uh, moved uh, somehow the houses okay and now the red wall is there maybe I will switch once again everything but it is perfect I think for as a corner house and this one and I didn't want to have the green and the red besides as I have the two blue ones besides one another and there and taking a look around the red house uh, it is not bad having it there and it is almost at the same age of every other uh, Lemax building and having the plug uh, for, from the backside it helped me hide everything okay all those houses have plug from behind even Nora's Christmas boutique so it is like that and maybe I will add some some fences if I find a place to get a mini a mini garden around the house this house too but I think uh, the two blue houses and the red one are the best association of color at least in my opinion the green one a little less but it has to be like that and yellowish 
a yellowish but different color and etc the yellow around the houses so four houses from here this section here not uh, right not uh, one beside the other like a square okay but it has a common pattern all the uh, all these kind of houses i wanted to prove that it can be acceptable to have houses looking almost the same in a christmas village i still miss something there mm. let's see what i can do maybe i will remove this one and transform it into some sort of parks uh, but the park here is reserved for there i don't know another building and if i add another building there uh, it will not uh, um, cut the point of view of uh, the two blue uh, houses because I don't have anything behind it. Uh, maybe this time I start thinking about the North Pole section. Right, left, where? I don't know. Four parts, maybe five before the end. So I need to speed up the things, guys. And then the movement, guys, that I still need to motorize and get better uh, together. But the planets get around, okay? Everything turns. It's, um, it's a problem of having them bended a little towards the left from this point of view and then everything rotates around okay every planet rotates around and adding a motor and obviously painting everything but the planetary mechanics the planetary movement like this it it works okay and every planet turns around at different pace and different speed okay and these maybe not the best place for it i need to find the correct place for the for the movement i still have a small movement so these will be in movement due to the disco ball here i will have a movement i still lack a movement there and a movement from the right side but wasting these living space here with these that needs to be in the middle of a park in the middle of something it is a waste of time a waste of space uh, and it needs to be in plain view so i need to find the correct place for it uh, having gardens and having some other attraction around uh, too big no, because otherwise the mechanism and the planets would be too small. Uh, and by the way, I modeled the same pattern here that I have uh, on the gazebo and etc. So not a squared um, stones like that, but rounded stones. And I have the same thing on the gazebo. That is the opposite way and also on the floor of the uh, clock uh, tower maybe you can suggest me where to place it i was thinking here to get the attraction of the movement and it will not hide ma anything maybe i can test it placing it Oops, hope oh, not to damage anything, okay, and just there, and getting uh, hit to attract the view of other things, or maybe on the side, but I don't know. If I add it there, I don't know if it is correct to still have uh, Lucy's chocolate shop there, maybe I will move it down not here because i have glass confectionery in some other uh, place uh, and also guys here i have a mix of my design and lamax design from the left side i don't have 
I don't have. It is completely lacking Lemax building, Lemax slash Limax, and maybe I will add another brand this season. Uh, what else, guys? I don't think I have made anything. It is time I start connecting all the wires, adding some street lamps here and there. Uh, new type of street lamps, not those ones that are prioritary for the, the plaza, sorry, but the new ones you have seen me building those ones, guys, that here I still have the prototype, uh, those ones, okay, that are, are like that, new shaped street lamps made expressly, expressively for this new season. Then I will also mix some more of, of the old ones together. Uh, and uh, I also need snow. But sincerely, I have already tested five types of snow. This is the more effective I found. And it suits these three here. But for the houses, sorry, not these three, Rebecca's trees. But for the rest of the houses and the roof of the houses, uh, it will not suit because it's too, the flocks are too small. But I hope to receive a, a new product in the next uh, one or, or, or today or tomorrow uh, from Spain, but it is not the same company as uh, uh, as I already told you uh, where I get uh, the flockage etc the flockage I use uh, there on top of it the flockage there um, the the green one the yellow one on Rebecca's trees and this snow there comes from uh, um, a Spanish company very very known around the world um, by um, dioramas fans okay but um, but it, it's not good enough for such big houses what people that do dioramas generally do dioramas in smaller dimensions this is too big for common and dioramas this is uh, more than uh, the maximum is 135 and this is bigger than one to the 35 uh, scale. Uh, see you for the outro, guys. Yes, Mac, you are right. Copernicus is turning in this grave right now, but I couldn't do otherwise. Not enough space. And no, this is not our solar system. Movement is always a little complicated to add to a Christmas village with simple things. This is a little more complicated than simple things. It needed to be fixed because it needed to be uh, glued the main first central column, otherwise it will not work. Then glue something together and add a motor. With the motor, this will change. And obviously LED and planets plain, fully painted in different colors. This is not our solar system. I can be mad with it. Then houses, the red one here, guys, the red one here, and everything else. I maybe need to switch some buildings here and there and add something, details, another details, the grass, etc. I'm almost there, guys. Not completely. It seems once again that I haven't, uh, I, I didn't so too many things. I haven't done too many things. But painting, guys, in this way is so time consuming. Just remember hours and hours for the house, hours and hours for both the stairs, and then black washing, etc. And then all the time needed to project this one and I also projected in parallel the second 
movement but it will be for next part uh, 15 and don't forget that between this part 14 and part 15 I will go to my annual field trip to Peraga Christmas store not sponsored and it will never be please uh, don't forget to subscribe comment and give big thumbs up uh, thank you for watching Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and see you for something different in just a week. But only if you wish. Bye, guys.